Nutrition in Animals Introduction We see that whatever we or animals eat is either a plant or an animal product since we cannot photosynthesize because we lack the green pigment chlorophyll we have to depend on green plants and other animals for our nutrition so our mode of nutrition and that of other animals and of some plants is heterotrophic heterotrophic nutrition in animals is of the following four types holozoic saprozoic parasitic mutualistic holozoic nutrition most animals are holozoic it involves taking in ready made solid or liquid food substances as a whole these are broken down in the animal's body into simpler substances that can be easily digested to provide nutrition holozoic animals may be herbivores plant eating carnivores eat other animals or omnivores diet having both plant and animal material saprozoic nutrition many fungi and bacteria feed by saprozoic methods the cells of the organism dissolve the dead remains of living organisms by secreting chemicals the soluble products are then absorbed into the cell body a good example is mushrooms parasitic nutrition parasites are organisms that for part or all of its life derives nutrition through other organisms called the host this interaction between the host and the parasite is called parasitism parasites are generally smaller than their hosts and absorb nutrients from the host body fluids example mosquito mutualistic nutrition in mutualistic nutrition two organisms interact in a manner such that both are benefited this is also called symbiosis a very good example of mutualistic nutrition is the association between bacteria called rhizobia and plants belonging to the pea family rhizobia make their home in the nodules of the plant roots 